in the darkest nights, when shadows loom large and the heart feels heavy, a whisper of truth pierces the gloom. God is covering you. This profound reality is beautifully articulated in Psalm 91 verse 1, where it is written, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This passage not only paints a picture of divine protection, but also invites us to experience the depth of God's sheltering presence. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Consider the fiery ordeal faced by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as described in Daniel 3, verses 24 to 25. Here, amidst the blistering heat, they were not alone, for there in the flames stood a divine figure, ensuring their safety. This story serves as a vivid testament to God's covering, showing us that in the midst of life's most intense fires, we are never forsaken. Elijah's experience, as recounted in 1 Kings 19 verses 11 to 12, further reveals the nature of God's protection. In his time of fear and exhaustion, God didn't manifest in grand displays of power, but through a gentle whisper, offering solace and strength. This moment teaches us that God's covering often comes in the quiet and the unexpected providing peace and guidance amidst turmoil. My friends, the life of Jesus himself offers the ultimate embodiment of God's protective covering over humanity. In the Gospel of John, particularly in John 10 verse 11, Jesus is described as the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep, a perfect picture of sacrificial love and protection his journey through betrayal, suffering, and crucifixion culminated in the resurrection, assuring us of a covering that transcends even death. This sacrificial act sealed a new covenant of grace, ensuring that all who come under his lordship are forever covered by his love, mercy, and power. Through these biblical accounts, we gain a deeper understanding of the encompassing nature of God's protection, one that not only guards, but also guides and transforms our very lives. The narrative of Noah, captured in Genesis 6, verses 17 to 18, echoes the theme of divine safeguarding. God promised Noah that despite the coming flood, he and his family would be preserved a promise kept within the sanctuary of the ark. This story not only speaks of physical preservation, but also symbolizes the spiritual covering that God extends to all who seek refuge in him. The tender story of Ruth and Boaz, as depicted in Ruth 2 verse 12, illuminates the concept of divine covering through human relationships. Boaz commended Ruth for seeking refuge under the wings of the God of Israel, illustrating how divine protection and timely care often manifest in our interactions and commitments. Also, Paul's perilous voyage to Rome, detailed in Acts 27 verses 21 to 26, provides another powerful example of God's protective covering in the midst of a deadly shipwreck. Paul assured the crew of God's promise for their safety, a promise that was miraculously fulfilled, underscoring the comprehensive and faithful nature of God's covering over us. As we acknowledge these biblical truths, we are reminded that the God who covered his faithful servants in the past continues to cover us today. Like the psalmist, who found solace under the almighty shadow. We too can experience the same unchanging protective presence in our lives. In light of these truths, 
we are called to approach God in prayer. Not with a spirit of fear, but with the assurance that he is forever our refuge and strength. Let us, therefore, with hearts full of faith, embrace the covering of God, assured that in every circumstance we are enveloped in his unfailing love and protection. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you in the quiet of this new day, lifting my voice in thankful praise. You are the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, the one who covers me with your protective wings. I thank you for your unwavering faithfulness and your unending love for the ways you have guided and preserved me through every season of my life. Mighty God, your deeds are great and your power is unparalleled. And for this, I give you all glory and honor. Lord, in the light of your mercy, I humbly ask for forgiveness of my sins. Wash me clean with your purifying love. Even now, I also extend forgiveness to others, just as you have graciously forgiven me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I thank you for the gift of redemption and the assurance of your grace that covers every fault. As I step into this day, I declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the attacks of the enemy in every form, be it fear, illness, discouragement, or division, and I bind these forces in the powerful name of Jesus. I claim your protection and strength, Lord, as I face the challenges and battles of this day. I pray for your covering over every aspect of my life. Just as you were with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace, be with me in my trials, shielding me from the flames. Let your presence be a comforting and guiding force like the gentle whisper that calmed Elijah, leading me through uncertainty with peace and wisdom. Thank you, Father, for your promises of preservation and care in our going out and our coming in. Guide our steps and cover us from all accidents and negative incidents. In every flood of life, let me be secured and sustained by your saving grace. Bless me with relationships and situations where your divine care is manifested, reminding me of Ruth's story, finding favor and protection under your wings. Lord, grant me the assurance of Paul during his tumultuous voyage, instilling in my heart a steadfast faith that trusts in your deliverance and sovereign plan. Let my life be a testament to your unfailing protection and mercy, guiding me safely through every storm and shipwreck. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, praying for each other, very grateful that you are in our midst as you promised. For all of us, I seek your healing, your protection, and your blessings, knowing that together we stand under your mighty covering. For our loved ones, I pray that they too experience your divine refuge, protection, guidance, and assurance in every area of their lives. May your blessings overflow in their lives, covering them with your love, 
grace and mercy. Lord, as we journey through this day, we do so with the confidence of your kingdom's power and your Holy Spirit at work in our lives. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.